everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your RAM or remove your RAM for your ASUS laptop, ASUS gaming laptop. This one is an ASUS, I don't know, TF, TUF gaming. This one comes with a Ryzen 7 and GTX G1060 Ti. So it has a 8 gig RAM. We're going to pump it up to 16 gig RAM. So first thing first, you want to flip it over and you want to remove right down here. You're going to see at the back where the heat sinks are, at the back of the door, there are three screws. You want There are four screws. These are the long screws. So you want to remove the back screw. Those are the long four screws. I already removed them. And then the two side ones, those are again the longest one. These side ones right here. And the rest, three, four, five. And the rest five screws, which is one, two, three, four. And the middle one, the five ones, these are the short ones. So you got five short screws and let me see, five, six long screws. The long ones at the back, two sides, and the short one mid and the front end. Once you got all this removed, all you wanna do, you wanna open up your laptop 45 degree angle. And you want to grab an opening tool, right? I have my fingers dirty, I was working on my car, so yeah. I'll see the nice comments of you guys. So you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. It's kind of hard, but you got to stick it in there. And you want to wiggle it around with the tiny clips. You want to remove those, let loose. So just wiggle it around and do the side. You want to hit those clicks that's a good click so and do the left one all right once you did most of it all you want to do you want to put it down and you want to grab it from the front and you want to wiggle it around while you're lifting it up and it should come out pretty easy All right, down here, simply the RAMs are right here. You can see one RAM right there. And under here, there's a, another RAM DIMM slot available. Again, I'm gonna, I always tell on my videos, you do not need to remove the battery to remove your RAMs. But if you want to, you can just pull this jack out, this plastic, you see it has a tiny clips right there. You can just pull this out. You can disconnect the battery. But I usually keep it in. As long as the power is off to the laptop, you can simply just remove the RAMs. All right, so again, let me show you guys. This is the battery, you wanna remove it, just pull this one out. So the, this is the battery, just how you remove the battery. So, but if you don't wanna remove the battery, don't remove the battery. You don't need to remove the battery to remove the RAM or add RAM. So I'm gonna actually keep it in. Now again, for the RAM, you can just peel this off if you want to, or just leave it in there working with that. I'm just gonna leave it for the sake of the video so you guys can see. To remove the RAM, you need to pull these two triggers apart. So just pull them and the RAM is gonna come in 45 degree angle. There we go, you see? It came out in 45 degree angle. You don't wanna lift up the, fan, the RAM towards the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna break the contacts. You want to pull it outward towards the back in 45 degree in the same angle that it, it popped out. So remove it in 45 degree. Then you put the RAM back in, you put it back again in 45 degree angle and make sure the notch matches the gap right here. There's a notch right there. If you try to put it that way around, it will not go through because it's more on this side than the notch on the RAM is on the other side. So match the notch in 45 degree angle push it towards the RAM dim, and then from the middle or from the both side, just push towards the motherboard, and you're gonna hear those clicks on those clips. You see, right there. If you don't hear those clicks, then you put it wrongly, then you wanna take it out and put it again. So pull out, remove it, push all the way in, towards the motherboard, there. Now you wanna put the new RAM in, same way. Grab the new RAM, 
put it all the way in. You see this one okay, went all the way in and this one you actually can see the pins. Try to push it, hold it like this and then push it more as far as you can and then push it towards the motherboard. Make sure all the way in you hear the clips. Now, you know that you did the wrong job. If you put it a little bit like that and you push it down, the clips stay open. You see these clips are open and these are closed. So that means the contacts are not made. So lift it up again, push it all the way in, in 45 degree angle. Now push it down. You see all this uh, clips right here is all straight and is in place. And that's how you add the extra RAM. Now you want to go ahead and put this one back on. This plastic here thing here is nonsense. You don't need it. The only reason this one is here. So when you look through the bottom cover, you don't see the RAM. You see this. So I would actually remove it so for the airflow so it doesn't cover the airflow. But yeah, you guys can keep it if you so that's how you add the RAM or remove the RAM. All right, the last thing is to grab the bottom cover and just align it on top. Make sure you push the side first on the back side. Make sure you hit those clicks gently. On the other side, go all around the front. And the other side, and push a little bit in the middle and be all set. And next thing, you want to put the screws back in. So put the three, the five screws, long ones at the back. Also, the I'm going to take advantage of this one. I'm not going to fast forward because I'm going to tell you guys uh, something really interesting. If you want to change your RAM, I always suggest you guys do it with the same type of the RAM. If you have an 8 gig, the 266 hertz, get another 8 gig of 266 hertz, same speed. Why? The reason is if you have two of the same RAMs in there, you're going to have something called a dual channel memory. A dual channel memory is much faster than having a different combination of a RAM, having an 8 and a 4 gig. That way, you're not going to have an, an the effect of the dual channel. A dual channel memory RAM is much faster, it, uh, mostly for games. So, if you say, I have an 8 gig, I want to put a 16 gig RAM dim. Yes, it will work. It's good for production, video editing, something like that. Yeah, it's fine. But if you want to do gaming or something like that, go with a 16 gig or just simply remove the other. 8 gig put 16 and 16 that way you will have 32 gig RAM. Honestly, for this laptop, I will not go over 16 gig, it's nonsense because of the most demanding games, they always need 16 gigs. So put two 8 gigs with the same speed, and then you'll be fine. These are DDR4 RAMs. The one that comes in the box is a 266 hertz, and that's it. Now, you, when you power it on, you might wait about 10 to 15 seconds for the BIOS to detect the RAM and you just activate it. So, when you turn it on, be patient. Just wait before the logo shows up. Or well, sometimes it shows up right away. So, I'm going to wait. I don't, there we go. Now, we have the logo right there. So, press delete, F2. No, it already went through Windows. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. If you guys subscribe, you can ask uh, your request in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And I really appreciate it. And let me go ahead and turn this thing off. Uh, turn it off. So yeah, I see you guys in my next video, I guess. Thanks for watching.